The global tensions around trade, Europe versus the United States, Canada versus the United States, the tensions are very clear. They're out in the open. They're not being hidden. How significant would it be for you if we don't see an agreement on a, on a final statement or communique after a G7 meeting? It would be a significant sign that indeed the trends, trends are serious. We will likely see at this meeting that America first basically means America alone. I don't think that this will now impress Trump very much, but it may over time have some impact on the US political debate. If indeed, if we don't get a statement, it would be a clear sign that this is really very much America alone, which even big America shouldn't be able to afford for in the long run mm, in this world. JP Morgan has been trying to put a number on what kind of impact we see uh, from these trade tensions on stock market performance. Are you trying to put numbers around how much the trade tensions and the protectionist measures we've seen announced so far, how much they're taking off global growth? Or is, is that to miss the, miss the story? Because these numbers might not be very significant, but maybe the rhetoric is more significant. The numbers are not very significant. The impact of the actual trade impediments imposed so far on global GDP is well below 0.1% of, of it. It's probably more in the 0.01% <laughs> region. That is almost insignificant. What matters is the fear factor. What is next? How much is the global order on which all trade relies? How much is that being put in jeopardy or even shattered. It's this fear factor that weighs on confidence and confidence is a major driver of the business cycle. It's difficult to quantify that, but it probably makes for Europe, for instance, now the difference between above trend growth, which we had until the end of last year, to now a growth rate in the Eurozone, which is around trend rather than above it. Uh, and where does this leave, where does this leave the, uh, the US economy? Do you think that this is something, I mean, America first is designed to, to, to put America first, as the name suggests. Does it benefit the US economy or does it just mean consumers pay more? It hurts the US economy significantly, it hurts consumers, it hurts companies. The thing is just that in the US, because we have this massive tax stimulus at the same time, the US doesn't notice how much it costs because it's hidden by the tax stimulus. It will be visible in the long run in the US as well. At the moment, consumers don't really feel it because thanks to the tax cuts, they can easily afford the little rise in prices that comes from these trade impediments.